<laughs> Nimbus. The space gate to dark world is charged up and now open. Welcome back, X, YouTube, Twitch. It's your boy KDZ bringing you guys another mark watching again, guys. The reason why we do these videos is because I have a huge passion for trading card games. I love talking about trading card games and I want to continue to build a community that has the same love and passion for admiring all those gorgeous little windows as I do. And with that, let's get into it. Again, today we're going to have another sporadic jumping around day. Um, really no focus. Uh, just some of the things that's been on my mind coming off the top. <sighs> Sunday, January 7th, 2.53 p.m. Central Standard, uh, 14.53 military. Uh, it's like 45 to 48 degrees out here. Um, it feels nice. The sun is shining a little bit, a little bit of cloudy weather. Definitely in the mood. You know what I'm saying? Do a lovely market watch. <laughs> Let's get this straight. Now there was like some. I want. I didn't want to continue to look at um. What I was doing with those starter decks. Apparently, speed was a starter decks. I wanted to continue to take a look at. Those speed dual starter decks and whatnot, but there was something else too. No, there was the structure decks. I wanted to go back and take a look at the structure deck. So we're gonna open up a new tab. Because I'm gonna go ahead and put these on pause real quick. Bring this back over here. We want structures. And what structure were you trying to look at? I mean, like I said, like I've said many a times on the channel, guys, I'm a huge fan of uh, collecting structures. I love, like, you know, getting cards that have matching rarities from the same set. And, you know, structures, they print a lot of cards in common, non foil, matching rarity from the same set. So. I'm a huge fan of the structure starter decks. Again, must I reiterate? Uh, we got Fire Kings, Crimson King, uh, Trap Tricks this year. I want to say those displays are still holding around what they are, um, like the seventy to like ninety dollar price point, which is kind of out of the range that I would like them to be. I like them to be in that fifty sixty dollar range. I bet we could find Dark World and Legend of the Crystal Beast in that range. But it's unfortunate. I'm um, freezing chains. I wanted to look at I wanted to look at freezing chains. Might look at the Egyptian gods, but I want to look at like Dark World and uh, Legend of the Crystal Beast as well. We might take a look at quite a few of these. Okay, let's let's jump into freezing chains first. Open link and new tab. Mm -hmm. Freezing Chains, General Wayne of the Ice Barrier. Hmm. Let's go to TCG Player. One of the things I think is so cool about Ice Barriers is that their lore windows, their, um, their backgrounds, their world building, it's so dope. Like some of the most detailed artwork in these monsters. Or an ice barrier, and considering they're connected to the hidden arsenal, um, their lore goes a little bit deeper. I mean, if you got the hidden arsenal chapter one, it probably mentions the ice barriers in there, if I'm not mistaken. It have to, because they're a part of the first four hidden arsenals. And hidden arsenal chapter one covers the first four hidden arsenals, which is something else that's really cool. In terms of like uh, consistency across um, the the archetype with rarities, because they were made in the first two of uh, four hit arsenals, a lot of their cards come in super and in secret. So not only are they all foil, but they all match either super or secret. <sighs> but then you come back here, a synchro um focused um archetype. Water attributes, a lot of different monster types, though Aqua, Warrior, Sea Serpent, um, Spellcasters. Uh, they threw some Gen X cards in here. Duke Frog, these are the, the what, do, what do we call them? The free agents, I suppose you used to say. But I mean, some of these free agents are a part of the archetypes Gen X archetype, Spirit archetype, if that's an archetype, the Frog archetype. Elemental Lord, the Moonland Glaciers, the Angler Archetype, and then you get into more of the, the world building, the lore building with the spell cards. 
Dope lore window right here. Magic triangle of the ice barrier. This is cool. I wonder if this comes foil. Magic triangle of the um, ice barrier. Medallion of the ice barrier. Add one ice barrier monster from your deck to your hand. The searcher, three of, obviously. Especially with all these different ice barrier monsters. I wonder which ice barrier monsters add ice barrier cards from deck to hand. Because this only adds monsters. But I did look this one up. This one does not come foil. This one was not printed, interestingly enough. This one was not printed in any of the hidden arsenal sets. This was printed in a core set. I believe it was Star Strike Blast as a rare. It's crazy when it's a searcher for the whole thing. Mirror of the Ice Barrier. That's got to be new. You see Trishler on there. That's dope. Quick play, Salvage, uh, Surface. These are free agents. We're Arfdell. A pointer of the Red Lotus. Okay. Icebind. I've never seen this card. If a non water monster is normal, special summon while you control a water monster, change that summon monster to defense position. Icebind. So it's a floodgate for water monsters. We're going to have to look that one up. I don't, I've never seen that. Mind Drain. Activate this card by paying a thousand life points. Neither player can activate the effects of monsters in the hand. Mind Drain. We're about to look this up. Another floodgate. Konami, you missed some. Heavy Storm Duster, Crackdown, which is pretty cool. Common Crackdown. You know that go JoJo? JoJo, the Gallant Ninja. They got you, bruh. A Trishilla, Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Um, Duloran, original print secret it has. Brionic has the original print secret. Gungnir has the original print secret. And Trishula has the original print secret. And then you have Terror of Trishula, which I think comes ultra rare in a set. Um, but... Uh, yeah, the extra deck monsters. I mean, I guess that's what the ice bears do. They worship these dragons or something like that. Dude, Lauren's is not a dragon. Say Tiger King. It's so cool. They got all these generals and stuff at the ice barrier. I'm a huge fan of warfare. <laughs> Hold on. So let's let's take a deeper dive and look at what we pulled up. Mind drain. Common. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy Common, Mind Drain. I mean, would this work going first? I mean, maybe against certain matchups or something. I don't know. It only comes Common. Interesting reprint in the structure that Freezing Chains. But... Let's reverse engineer this. Let's go back to structure that freezing chains. What are we looking like? Displays, 80 bucks. I mean, this is what, a three-year-old set? Four years old? How old is this? 2021, the beginning of 2020. It's four years old now because we're at the beginning of 2024. So there you go. It's four-year-old set, 80 bucks. It's the same price as the sets that came out just last year. Trap Tricks, Crimson King, Fire King. So from that comparison, I'd probably say this one is on a deal. After this one, it's quickly $100. So, I mean, shout out to Game Champ. It is what it is. I don't. I haven't collected that one yet, though. So, that's unfortunate for me. I might have to pull the trigger on that. You have Eyesbind, uh, the floodgate for water monsters. Out, come out of Photon Shockwave as a rare. And then reprint it in OTS Tournament Pack 11 as a common. And then it gets a reprint in Structure Deck Freezing Chains. There you go. Structure decks always come out of the woodworks with some obscure printings. Like I said, and you get the same thing with the speed door starter decks, quote unquote starter decks. Like some really obscure printings of some cards. Even though they fit. One hundred and twenty eight listings is low as seven cents. Market price twenty nine cents for the rare out of Photon Shockwave for Icebind. Uh, you go General Wayne of the Ice Barrier. Uh, excuse me. So if I didn't know any better, I say they just brought up everything. Let's see if we can find. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Hit Arsenal Chapter One. As you can see, that makes sense. Let's reverse engineer this. Go back. Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 box displays, they're up to 40 again. So there's been some movement up from 33, up from 35, up to 40. But the Medallion of the Ice Barrier, dual terminal um, technology common, 
22 listings as well as 581 market price 581 the most expensive card in the set what i just talked about how this card doesn't have any foil printings and then this is the only extra rarity printing that it has and it's a common coming out of this set and it searches every ice barrier monster so and it's not a once per turn thus it's the most expensive card in this set how we come full circle Power Arm Dragon 342, 45 listings, well as 342, Mark Brush 333. That seems like it's up a little bit. Armory Arm is, you say, card, absolutely uh, exceptional artwork. Um, it exudes power in Secret Rare. I mean, it's a dope card, $5, understatement. But the Medallion of Ice Barrier, there you go for your. Um, you know, for your deep personalization of Ice Barrier, I personally wouldn't play it. I just go for the common. I like to keep my consistency across the board. But, yeah, there you go. Um, that's not what I was looking for, though. Structure Deck Freezing Chains. This is what I was looking for. Now, let me click yeah, Reverse Engineer this again. Revealer of the Ice Barrier, the most expensive card in this set, 69 listings as well as $1.50, market price two fifty two. one of the newer cards. And then it's Trisula, Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier, with Crackdown and the Pointer of the Red Lotus Commons in uh, spots four and uh, five and six um, in terms of card price. Duke Frog, three. Okay, okay. Well, that's freezing change for sure. Now, let's see. Let's look at... Uh, we looked at Freeze and Change just now. Let's look at let's look at Legend of the Crystal Beast real quick, and then let's look at um, uh, the not the Albash Strike, but the the Dark World one before we look at the newer ones uh, that came out this year. I just want to check the their overall prices for the newer ones. Crystal Beast, of course, you're going around Crystal Cars. They got some Pendulum stuff in here now. Interestingly enough. For some reason, Haman is in here. Was he used in the in the anime? Dimension Shifter, Ash Blossom, Ghost Bell, Staples out the Yin Yang. Absolutely gorgeous lore windows, um, like Awakening of the Crystal Ultimates. Okay, I hope this is foil. Crystal Aegis, Rainbow Bridge, Crystal Beacon. I mean, if he has Crystal, like Crystal Beasts and the Gem Knights, like because they use crystals in their little windows, they automatically have an edge on other cards in terms of their luster. Their little windows will just naturally have luster because they have crystals in them. Let's, let's peep this. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing pretty good. So. Advanced Dark. I want to say this only had the one printing. I forgot about this. It was a secret rare. C-tier secret rare technology, unfortunately. Uh, I want to say like the Zaxel error, maybe like Generation Force or something like that. Cosmic Cyclone, another staple. Man, their lore windows look so cool for Crystal Beast. Talk about going all out. Metaverse Rainbow Dragon, okay, okay. Ultimate Crystal Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. A Rainbow Over Dragon, man, I'd love to get some of these in Secret Rare. I mean, you got a Crystal Beast, uh, Sapphire Pegasus, and Crystal Rare Speed Duel, and I mean, and I said in Crystal Rare, shut up, and Secret Rare Speed Duel, and then you have um, Rainbow Dragon as well on Secret Rare. But I'm trying to think. We might have to do an overall search. Uh, Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. Rainbow Bridge of the Heart, Crystal Bond, Jesse Anderson Bond, Bonder with the Crystal Beast. Oh, I forgot Jesse Anderson was, he was one of freaking Pegasus' top five duelists because the Crystal Beast chose him as their duelist for um, the deck. Like he had, I think it was Yugi, Kaiba. Was Joey in there? It could have been. It might have, if it wasn't Joey. If it wasn't Yugi Kaiba, Joey, Aster Phoenix, and then Jesse Anderson, it was Yugi Kaiba, um, Aster Phoenix, and then Jesse Anderson. That's how much respect freaking 
Pegasus pit on Jesse Anderson's name. That's crazy. You don't want a creator of the game got you in the top five of his top duel list. That's crazy. But hold on, let's go ahead and let's just bring up Amber Mammoth. We just need to bring up a random card here. They got ultimate rares out the yin yang, but we need secrets. Let's scroll down because apparently it's then brought up all the cards. Let's see if this filter. No, the filter didn't do anything for us. So let's do this. Crystal Beasting, Yu Gi Oh! 100 um, listings, 13 secret rares. So, what do we got here? Rainbow Dragon and Crystal Beast, Rainbow Dragon and Crystal Beast, Sapphire Pegasus. Oh, and then the Advanced Crystal Beasts. I see, I see. So, the only original ones that got the secret are Crystal Beast, Sapphire Pegasus, and Rainbow Dragon. Rainbow Dragon got three. It got the Speed Duel, the Tactical Evolution one, which 68 listings as well as $9.99, market price $29.55. I'm hard-pressed to think this is S-tier secret rare technology. I'm hard-pressed to think that's accurate. And then the 2007 Collector's 10, if I'm not mistaken, it's S-tier secret rare technology as well. Hold on, let's look into these. The Sapphire Pegasus, he's pretty cheap. I mean, like I said, they got the OTs. But like I said, secret rares, they just hit harder for me in terms of luster. That scan on that collector's tin is not the greatest. I wonder if we could get something good on here. Let's see if we could type in Rainbow Dragon. Get, get a, a better scan. They got the multiple. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I forgot it got the QCSR. That puts everything else to shame. The QCSR secret rare just it's on another level. As you guys can obviously see, the 2023 25th anniversary. Ultra rare, speed duel, common. Uh, legendary duel season one. That's gotta be a common. Legendary duels ancient millennium, common. Raw yellow mega pack, maybe super. A legendary collection two mega pack. 2007 collector saying look at the look at the deep foiling on that like i said that's s tier secret rare technology and then tactical evolution tactical evolution the, the, it's the colors pop a little bit more the foiling is a little bit deeper um uh, but the the collector's tin is not too far off but that's nice look at that that's so nice i'm not sure if you guys can see that i mean maybe if you got it on hd but then the QCSR, I mean, come on now. Come on now. Look at look at the Rainbow Dragon popping out of the card. Come on now. Um, let's go ahead and search. Go back to Rainbow Dragon real quick. I want to see what the prices are on these secrets were. Max condition, near mint, $3, $5 for the, for the 10 one. So that's pretty good. What's Tactical Evolution going for, though? Max condition, near mint, 30 for the Unlam, that's it? And 66 for the first ad. That's nice. Wow. That's a great price for this card. $66 for near mint first ed secret rare rainbow dragon out of tactical evolution. That's nice. I mean, it's only 30 for the unlim if you just want the card and the rarity. If you don't really care too much about the value and you just want the card and the rarity, 30 for the unlim is even better. All right, though, shout outs to Rainbow Dragon. And of course, like always, guys, we're doing these market watches outside of live with the live shooting live with you guys. So, you know, you're the birds and the bees, the wind blowing in the background, you know, and your, your occasional airplane flying by. And of course, we still doing the giveaway, guys. All you guys need to do to enter the giveaway, we still don't have anybody who didn't want it. Uh, slide on over to the 2TCG YouTube channel, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like the stream, and comment on the stream when it ends, when it becomes a video. What is one of your top 10 favorite lore windows of any card from any game? And put the name of the set beside the lore window in the comment. And you'll be entered to win those three Sword and Shield base set packs, guys. We're just talking about your passions. Again, really interested to see what universes the community is jumping into. And see what lore windows the community is losing yourself in. And Manil. But let's continue on.
with our uh us diversifying ourselves looking at these um these structures well hold on let me go back to rainbow dragon real quick speed duel i just have the secrets pulled up let's, let's get off a of secret rare let's look at legend structure the legend of the crystal beast 40 bucks this thing is littered with staples and amazing lure windows and connected to the anime this structure is 40 bucks the ice barrier one does have some double lure window it is four years old or three years old so i mean i guess it being 80 dollars makes sense but then like the crimson king being let's go ahead and look at it we got we got we got crimson king and fire king up that's nice fire king i mean it is new and it's quote unquote meta but it being 90 that's steep when there's the the freaking whatchamacallit is 40 the crystal beast and then you come over here to the crimson king what is this looking like market price got it at 52 and it's at 80. The last one that sold for 80, so 12, 2, 23. It's 1, 7, 24. So people don't want to buy this at that price point. And then the Trap Tricks one. Let's see the last time somebody bought that one. I know that one. I mean, I guess this fandom is real for Trap Tricks. 11 listings as low as 95.90. The last time somebody bought one, 11.27, somebody spent um 95 dollars on this and this was back on the black friday deals this was back on black friday deals people didn't touch this but black friday came some people came through and grabbed some when they got the kickback outside of that nobody's trying to spend a hundred dollars on this straight up they're just not yet the uh, capitalism is not kicking in people do not want to sell these for cheaper You can't really say it's that liquid though, because the liquidity from the latest sales is not great. And of course, guys, we talk about these TCG markets as if we uh, live in a vacuum, as if there's nothing else to buy in this world other than trading card games. Because of course, there's many other things you can get in this world for a hundred dollars, guys. <coughs> but humor me. That Rainbow Dragon out of Tactical Evolution. That's so nice. I might lead that one up too. Battle Pack 2 Warder Giants. We was looking at this the other day. We was down the rabbit hole. And this one, we can come up off that. The Sage of Stone. I freaking love this lore one though. I'm leaving this up though. I think I'm going to have to um, bite the bullet and buy me a common uh, Speed Duel. Uh, I mean, Sage of Stone. Because you're not finding these sets sealed for cheap anymore unfortunately the seal master may say ancient sanctuary i knew this guy came as a rare i was talking about him we never even we never did get to him yesterday um acts of despair you know we're leaving that up my probably my favorite single most favorite equipped court in the game acts of despair it'll be probably between like acts of despair horn of the unicorn another card that hasn't gotten the updated printing in who knows how long shoot we're about to go ahead and check that real quick I don't know what the, the 28 listings is for. Battle Pack Epic Dawn, Dark Beginning, Battle Pack 2, Magic Ruler. So it should have got the reprint in the 25th anniversary spell roller. Nice. Let's freaking go. Horn of the Unicorn. I've been waiting for an updated printing for this card. Freaking love this card. <coughs> Excuse me. Project CCG. I'm probably about to have to come in here by like uh, four play sets of this. I got to get my Horn of the Unicorns and updated card technology. So clean, so clean. I love when Yugi will pull this one out. It'll just give his monster such a mean boost, especially summon Skull. The equip monster against 700 attack and defense. Like, I, I love to play in a meta where Horn of the Unicorn is meta. I definitely built my deck around Horn of the Unicorn. And it's crazy because it just, it, when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, it returns to the top of your deck. Like, it just doesn't die.
Blood is guard. <laughs> Still heavily punishable by shit like Dark. Well, Dark Hole doesn't punish it completely. Like, if you don't overextend with your monsters, then you'll just draw it again on your next turn and you could beef up like a level four monster like Lai Jin to 2,500. Vorce Raider to 2,600. And then the dark world structure. This is gonna be the last structure that we're gonna look at before we get back on to the the speed duel one. Rainbow, uh, Overlord. This one. This is what we're looking for. Structure the dark world reverse engineer this. And this one is at thirty five. This one is at thirty five. And I feel like the potential, the ceiling on this is greater than that of even. Well, I don't know. The Fire King. There's a lot of support with like the Star running around and whatnot right now um for fire monsters so i'm not sure if it has a higher ceiling than that but definitely higher than trap tricks the crimson king you know what i'm saying and these are at 35 dollars for displays like i have one of these sealed but i mean at 35 that makes me want to come back and snag this like this is like over 50 percent under msrp this is crazy for something that's pretty good. Hold on, let's go back here and see what we got. What free agents do we got up here? I mean, not only do you got all the Dark Fiend, Dark World monsters. I mean, their aesthetic is an acquired taste. I, I have to say that. I agree. They do got some wrinkly skin. Okay, so it comes with dangers. Level 8 danger, Thunderbird, Snake, and Mothman. Okay. Absolute King Back Jack. Okay. What else? What else free agents? We got Card Destruction, Mind Crush, Deck Devi, Dino Miscus, and Skill Drain. Okay, so the staples, the free agent staples are not as great. The Danger, Bigfoot, Thunderbird, the Danger Monsters, and Skill Drain and Dino Miscus are definitely your draws. But for it to be $35, that's criminally cheap. Come on now. But it's nice to see that nothing's really moved in terms of the structure deck arena. Unfortunately for me, people not buying the trap tricks, the Crimson King, but they're still inflated as hell. What else is new? <laughs> Like I said, we're leaving that up. We're leaving up one of the unicorn too. I'm gonna come back and snag that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <coughs> Let's go ahead and we're gonna look at some um some updated stuff real quick. Let's look at not the Fire King, not the 25th anniversary. We're gonna steer clear of that. Um, too emotionally attached. I can't take any emotional, sharp emotional swings right now. I'm trying to stay balanced. So we're going to stay away from the 25th anniversary. Age of Overlord booster boxes are $125. Wow. Guys, the estimated base price for a QCSR now in this set is $500. Did you see what happened? We've been talking about the estimated base price for QCSRs and collector's rares and starlight rares since like September or August on this channel, guys. The estimated base price for QCSRs out of Age of Overlord, when Age of Overlord was $70, was $280. When it jumped up to $80, it was $320. At this time, SP Little Knight was still a $450 to $500 card, well over the estimated base price of $280, So what happens? The booster boxes appreciate to SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight doesn't depreciate to the booster boxes. She didn't go back down to $280, $320 for the estimated base price. She stayed at $500. So you know what the booster boxes did? They shot up to $125 to match the estimated base price of SP Little Knight. Now, the, es the estimated base price for a QCSR, what it will cost for you to pull one at random for packs is five hundred dollars one in every four boxes 
isn't that kind of like organic how the market works? With that being said, every single one of these that's not SP Little Knight is two for one. And even some of these are play sets right now. M City, you're getting a play set for the price of what it will cost to pull one. The store is close to a play set. <coughs> Wanted, you're getting two for one. Sky Crisis, you're getting two for one. Arius, you're like, what are you looking at with Arius? Two. Like, you're looking at like five for Arius. Same thing with King Sarcophagus. There's only nine listings on the market for King Sarcophagus, but you could get like five of these for the price of what it would cost to pull one. Like, it just, it doesn't even make sense to buy booster boxes anymore. Like, booster boxes have appreciated to the point of no return. Now, go super duper hard on the QCSRs in this set. With the estimated base price being at 500 I could see all of these being at a, a base price of $100 just because of that. Once the booster boxes dry up and people are not buying these for nothing, the booster boxes are $200. The base price for all of these will be a hundred dollars. So you're looking at BC Sam Sir, 36 listings as low as $35. No, sir. 36 listings as low as a hundred. <coughs> you'll triple your money. You buy a place set for a hundred now. You'll be coming up on 200 lighter. Infernal um flame banshee, search and pyro monsters. King Sarcophagus connected to M Seti. The only thing that's against King Sarcophagus is that it's so good it could get hit on the ban list. That's the only thing about like Wanted and M Seti is that they're so good that they could get hit on the ban list. And that's something that can drop the price down of a QCSR. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. <coughs> but of course, guys, <laughs> we can't be out here all day. Hopefully, I provided some value with the live stream. Marco, watch like Kakarot. <coughs> <coughs> Send me your energy so we could get that space gate charged up. So we could get that space gate charged up. So we could get that space gate charged up and try to come out here for a part two. But with that, we're going to be getting up out of here. Nimbus, are we in there? Are we in there? Yeah, we in there.